Hello everyone. How are you? Hope you all are fine. Today I am here with you with my next topic that is word problem of division of decimals. So this is the last topic related with our operations on decimals. So here we will discuss the different types of word problem which can be asked from this chapter. So uh, let us start with our very first example and our first example is 12 tins can hold 39.624 liters of oil. How much oil can be hold in one tin? So uh, if we look at the word problems of division, the problems remain same. कि डिवीजन में जब भी हम डिवाइड करते हैं जो हमारा आंसर है वो छोटा हो जाता है अब डिवीजन की प्रॉब्लम सेम रहती हैं बट व्हाट इज़ द डिफरेंस कि पहले आपने लार्ज नंबर का डिवीजन किया उसके बाद आपने फ्रैक्शंस का डिवीजन किया और दिस टाइम आप डेसिमल्स का डिवीजन कर रहे हैं तो क्वेश्चन तो वैसे ही हैं बस आपके डिजिट्स जो हैं आपके जो नंबर्स हैं वो चेंज हो रहे हैं अब देखिए 12 टेंस में जो ऑयल है ऑयल की क्वांटिटी है वो ज़्यादा होगी एज कम्पेयर टू वन टेन ठीक है तो वन टेन में नेचुरली जो ऑयल होगा वो क्या होगा कम और कम के लिए हम लोग क्या करते हैं हम डिवाइड करते हैं ठीक है सो लेट अस सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन 12 क्वांटिटी ऑफ ऑयल इन 12 टिन्स इज इक्वल टू 39.624 पॉइंट सिक्स टू फोर नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द क्वांटिटी ऑफ ऑयल क्वांटिटी ऑफ ऑयल इन वन टिन ओके इन वन टिन सो वन टिन मीन्स जो क्वांटिटी है वो कम हो जाएगी सो फॉर दिस 39.624 is divisible by 12. Okay, so now here we have to divide 39.624 by 12. Now look at the question carefully. Here our divisor is 12, and which is a whole number. And we know that whenever we have a whole number as a divisor, we always do long division method to so solve this question we will do long division method so let us divide 39.624 by 12 12 threes are 36 subtracting we are getting 3 here and decimal will shift to the quotient 36 threes are 36 12 threes are 36 and bring down 2 Now twelve and two, twelve zeros are zero, and then bring down four. Twelve twos are twenty-four. So it means oil quantity of oil in one tin is equal to three point three zero two liter. So this is our answer. Now our next question is. Cost of twenty-three meter cloth is six hundred rupees six hundred eight point three five. Find the cost of one meter cloth. So this is our question. In this question, you have given the cost of twenty-three meter cloth, and you have to find out the cost of one meter cloth. Once again, one meter cloth ki jo cost hogi, wo kya hogi? वो 23 मीटर क्लोथ की कॉस्ट से कम होगी सो फॉर दिस व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल डिवाइड द सम सो व्हाट वी विल डू कॉस्ट ऑफ 23 मीटर क्लोथ इज इक्वल टू रुपीज सिक्स सो कॉस्ट ऑफ वन मीटर क्लोथ इज इक्वल टू 608.35 डिवाइडेड बाय 23. सो वंस अगेन a divisor is a whole number to solve this question we do long division method and after dividing we will get our answer so mai ye question jo hai wo chhod rahi hu yahi pe and uh, you all will divide it by yourself and uh, let us move to our next question i have 7.5 meter long ribbon i want to cut it into 1.5 meter long pieces 
so how many pieces will i get so in this question i have a long ribbon okay and i want to cut it equally in 1.5 meter pieces okay to ab dekhiye we i am distributing the long ribbon into equal pieces it means i am doing the equal distribution of the ribbon and whenever we are do equal distribution it means we are dividing so for this we will divide the total length by the length of each piece and after that we will get the total number of pieces so let us solve this question so total length of ribbon is 7.5 meter length of each piece 1.5 meter now the number of pieces to get number of pieces we will divide 7.5 by 1.5 so let us solve this so what we will do and now look at here our divisor <coughs> our divisor is a decimal number and we know that whenever our divisor is a decimal number we solve it by writing the numbers writing this division in terms of fraction so let us solve it <coughs> 7.5 upon 1.5 and now we multiply it by 10 i know you all know how to divide two decimal numbers because i have already discussed all these things in my previous videos so let us solve 15 and 75 so 15 ones are 15 15 fives are 75 it means i will cut the whole piece the whole length into five equal pieces so in this way we will solve this question so now moving to our next question and our next question is 16.5 kg sugar is put into paper bags each containing 0.5 kg sugar yani ki uh, 16.5 kg jo sugar hai use hum paper bag mein dal rahe hain aur har paper bag mein 0.5 kg sugar jo hai wo aa rahi hai so now the question is how many bags are there so we have to find out the number of bags so what we will uh, write here total quantity of sugar is equal to 16.5 kg theek hai quantity contain in one bag is equal to 0.5 kg so total number of bag is equal to 16.5 divided by 0.5 once again our divisor is a decimal number so our divisor is a decimal number it means we will do fractional method and after uh, solving it we will get our answer so once again this question is for you so you are going to solve this question and you will write its answer in my comment box okay this is a homework for you now moving to our next question this is our last question and it is i required 2.25 meter cloth to stitch one shirt how many shirts can be stitched from 20.25 meter cloth now once again the question is ki ek shirt ko stitch karne mein 2.25 meter cloth ka jo hai use hota hai to 20.25 meter cloth jo hai usko usse hum log kitni shirts jo hai stitch kar sakte hain ab generally aapko kya hota tha badi quantity pehle dete the aur choti quantity baad mein to aapko question ko zara dhyan se understand karna hai ki isme kya likha hai so what is the total length of the cloth so i am going to solve it here total cloth is equal to 20.25 meter and cloth required to stitch cloth required to stitch a shirt cloth required to stitch a shirt is 2.25 meter so what is our question number of shirts means number of shirts which can be stitched from 20.25 meter cloth to kisko hum shirts mein baant rahe hain 
20.25 cloth ko hum stitch kar rahe in the form of shirts so for this what we will do 20.25 divided by 2.25 once again our divisor is a decimal number so for this what we will do we will do fractional method 20.25 upon 2.25 and for this we multiply the numerator and denominator by 100 and after multiplying our denominator become 225 and in numerator again decimal shift two digit ahead so our answer is a number is 2025 so after dividing 2025 by 225 we will get our answer and our answer is equal to 9 you can divide this in rough part and you can get your answer so we can say that 9 shirt can be stitched from 20.25 meter cloth so in this way we can solve such type of word problems which are related with decimal or any other number अब अगर आप ध्यान से देखें जो बात मैंने पहले भी कही थी वंस अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग कि आपके डिवीजन की जो स्टेटमेंट सम है वो चेंज नहीं हो रही है चेंज क्या हो रहे हैं आपके नंबर्स पहले लार्ज नंबर्स थे फिर फ्रैक्शनल नंबर हो गए और अब डेसिमल नंबर हो गए लेकिन जो डिवीजन हम कब करते हैं या मल्टीप्लाई हम कब करते हैं इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द सेम अपॉन द स्टेटमेंट कि वेन एवर यू हैव टू फाइंड अ बिग आंसर यू मल्टीप्लाई एंड वेन एवर यू फाइंड द स्मॉल आंसर यू डिवाइड सो टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम सम्स ऑलवेज रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली अगर आप क्वेश्चन को अच्छे से रीड करोगे तो आपको आपका सोल्यूशन उस क्वेश्चन में ही मिल जाता है ओके सो द वर्क वी सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हेयर एंड सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वी हैव सॉल्व सो जो क्वेश्चन हमने यहाँ पे डिस्कस किए हैं वो सभी क्वेश्चन जो हैं आप सॉल्व करेंगे एंड वंस अगेन डू मोर एंड मोर प्रैक्टिस टिल देन इन्जॉय योर डे थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे